Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now every now and then on my channel, something comes across that is an absolute game changer. And that's exactly what we're going to take a look at today. So here in my hands, the Mantis X10 Elite, which is a, I would say, analysis and diagnostic tool that takes a look at your shooting, your shooting habits, your tendencies, it evaluates it, it gives you information that allows you to make adjustments and in my case, hopefully improve. And so this product is not just going to be about today's video. This is going to be a mini series. I'm going to have a number of different videos that look at this in depth. This is capable of being used for pistol, for shotgun, for rifle, and even archery. And in this case, I'm going to probably try to use it for all. At minimum, I'm going to use it for the firearms. I may or may not get into archery, and it just depends on the ability to attach this to my actual equipment. And so today's video, this is really going to be the start of everything, an unboxing, a first impression. I'm going to start to get myself acclimated to this technology, figure out all the little pieces that go into how I'm going to use this. And then in the future, I'm going to go through a number of different scenarios. So from the pistol, maybe some comparisons, I'm going to get into rifle, I'm going to get into shotgun, look at what it does for me analyze my shooting and hone in on some of the things that I know I need to improve on. Now, before I even get into any of this, I do have to premise this video by saying I am a novice, but I'm an enthusiast and I do want to advance. I do want to grow and having something like this in my hands, in my possession, in the ability to use this is going to be a fantastic training tool. So with that, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Mantis who did provide this for review. And so again, the Mantis X10 Elite. Now there are a number of different models. This is one of their flagship models, has the most features, the overall compatibility with a number of different firearms, and should have the diagnostics that I need to start to pick apart my tendencies and hone in on things that I need to correct. Now, as I mentioned, today's gonna be a discussion, a first look, a first impression, an unboxing. So future videos will have all the shooting footage, It'll start to get into all the nitty gritty details, but the first thing I need to say is Mantis as a company. Now, as a YouTube channel, as somebody who goes to SHOT Show, and as somebody who has the opportunity to see some of the things that happen behind the scenes, Mantis as a company, I'm already blown away at the quality of their booth, their presentation. That's what caught my attention. I didn't necessarily have any intentions on stopping by the Mantis booth, but it was their professional demonstration in their booth that caught my attention, made me stop by, and I was immediately turned on to this I product. Measuring the stillness, even my scoring system is based on, on me moving the gun yep. and having the gun move directly to the target when the shot breaks. And that's a next level stuff. And of course, then I go, when are we going to see that in pistols? <laughs> well, we have that in development. No official ETA on the launch, but it's coming along nicely. So what we've got here is we have an X10 Elite on uh, a CO2 gun. Now, of course, the, the challenge is going to be dry fire transitions, especially if you're running a striker gun. It's, you know, you don't get the kind of shot detection you get from the BBX. And you don't really have a means for it to see where the transition is. But in CO2 or in live fire, right. now Since we can, we do can that. cycle that, now we can pick up those multiple shots we need. Now we can pick up the multiple shots that we need. So let's see here. We have this guy here. Shooter is ready. I'm just going to show you. So all I'm trying to do is just show the gun move in for right now, right? And you can see. So, so here's the nifty part of this is that once we see that, great, we're done with that. Now we can come over here and we can start to see every shot. All right, so when the shot comes up on the first one, transitions over, and you saw I went down, come kind of came yep. back up a little bit, so I corrected a little bit at the end there. Next shot comes over, and you can see ah, I was I, I was kind of loafing on my way over on that one. So now what it's doing is it's showing me what direction my muzzle rise is yep. and which direction my muzzle's traveling. So am I actually transitioning or am I overshooting, having to come back, seeing what's seeing? And right. that makes me honest with my shot transitions. And of course, when I really started uh, trying to learn how to shoot a uh, defensive pistol at a high level, 
you know, Ernest Langdon was a guy who said, hey, John, it's not about how fast you arrive, it's about how fast you leave. And uh, so here's how you're going to be better with transitions. And uh, uh, so this tool, I, it makes you honest about that stuff. And, yeah. and, and so again, very well done. And as somebody who just gets involved in some of the behind the scenes, I was very, very impressed. Their team has been fantastic. Their communication has been almost unparalleled. They're quick, they're efficient. They get right down to business and they did offer to provide this for review. So again, to the people at Mantis for that, thank you very much. But now as I dive into the details, this is going to be fantastic. Let's be real. Training can be expensive. It can also be, and, and even though it's exciting to get to some firearms training, it can be a little bit inconvenient. At this point, I have truly only taken one single lesson. One. And I've been at firearms now for uh, about 18 months. Okay, so in 18 months, I've really only had the opportunity to get real, true training one single time. And really, I mean, it's a matter of convenience. It's a matter of the fact that I have a full-time life with a full-time job with a full-time family, and I can't necessarily dedicate the time and money to training. But here, with the X10 Elite, I think you're going to find that even though it's not perfect, and this is only diagnostics, and I would call it supplementary, it's going to give me some of the information that I need that hopefully I would otherwise gain from some training. Now, I'm not trying to say that this takes the place of training. Don't get me wrong. This is supplementary. But this gives me the ability to train in some ways all the time. And that's what has me the most excited about this Mantis X10 Elite. So as I get into it here, you can see nice presentation, generally well packaged. And the actual unit itself, very compact and in this awesome little case. So that's very nice. Now I've done a whole bunch of research on this. I've watched a number of videos, tried to get myself acclimated. But Mantis themselves does have a ton of information available. So if you look at their website and some of the things that they publish and the different uh, resources that they've made available, there is a ton of information out there, which is awesome. And so as we get into this here, you can see the little components. Now this is a full kit. We'll take a look at all the different details here. Most of this, I'm gonna have to figure out exactly what it is, but you'll see there are different mounting options. And I'm sure this is for various different firearms, the actual unit itself. The case here, again, very nice. It's awesome to have something small and compact. And this will pretty much at this point live in my range bag. And so the first thing, as you take a look at this quick start guide, you'll see the first thing it says to download the Mantis X app on the App Store or Google Play. Attach the Mantis X smart sensor to your firearm and then open the Mantis X app and follow the instructions. And so as I pull up the Mantis X app, right away it comes up with pistol, rifle. You'll see here there's also what they call Laser Academy, the Mantis X Archery, Mantis X Shotgun, and then maybe some things that really aren't related so just be careful you will notice that as you take a look at the actual apps all of them are made by mantis tech so the mantis tech apps are the appropriate and licensed versions so here are the mantis x pistol rifle and i will install it keep in mind i am working off android platform for this demonstration now as this installs the x10 elite can be used for dry fire and live fire. That's the other part of this that has me very excited. The idea being that at the end of all of this, I will have good quality dry fire diagnostics and live fire diagnostics. So whether or not I'm home or at the range, this will have a place for me. Now it's asking for a username and password. I'm going to set myself up with a username and an account. So I'm going to make a new account because I plan on using this literally continuously. And that's going to be a benefit to me to have all my diagnostics saved in one place. And so immediately as I create my account, it has this getting started piece, which is very straightforward. And at this point it says to press the button on my Mantis X hardware device to turn it on. Once the green LED is blinking, press connect button in the app to connect the app to the Mantis X device. So I will give this a little bit. I'm actually going to put this on the charger. Now, as we look at the device, 
you notice this is a USB rechargeable device. So this is actually a micro USB and it does come with the micro USB cable. So I'm gonna get this charging just for a little bit, just to make sure it has some fresh juice and we'll go from there. And so just briefly while that's charging, you'll notice this does come with what they're calling a Picatinny rail adapter. So we'll take a look at this. I'm not certain that I will need this. I guess this might be for firearms that don't necessarily have a pick rail, but my question is, does this just go on a magazine? So you'll notice that's just a little stuck there. Uh, this has, you know, your 3M style double-sided tape. So this might just simply go on a magazine. And I have what looks to be your shotgun magazine tube adapter. And again, that goes to pick style uh, mounting adapter. So that's cool. Number of different shims. So these are like rubber shims. Probably goes inside here if I had to guess. And we'll get into the shotgun stuff at a later time. And then all the hardware. So pretty straightforward. And so now at this point, this has charged at least enough that it should give me enough juice to get started. Now I'm going to premise this entire thing by saying I might put this on backwards or not exactly right. And that's part of the learning process here. But here for the demonstration, this is the Canik Mete SFT. I haven't even loaded this yet. Haven't taken a single shot, nothing. So this is going to be kind of an interesting opportunity where I'll be able to fire this kind of without the diagnostics and then we'll check it with it and kind of see how I'm doing, which I think will be a little bit fun. So anyway, this should go pretty much straight onto a pick rail. So as you can see here, this does have a little sort of spring loaded uh, depression here. And as you flip that down, allows you to slide this into place. Now, I don't necessarily, oh, you can see I've activated it by accident. I don't know how far to slide this on. Now I can assume that depending on where you locate this, it could potentially slightly, and I'm not saying significantly, but slightly alter things, but that seems to be happy where it's at. So that looks like the right location for it. I don't feel like that's gonna slide on anymore, nor do I want it to. And now back in the app, it says, press the button on your Mantis X hardware device to turn it on. Once the green LED is blinking, press connect. So my Bluetooth is looking for my location. I'm just gonna say approximate while using the app. It wants to find and determine relative position of nearby devices, I suppose, allow. And it's saying enable permissions seemingly in my phone. So I gotta dive maybe a little bit deeper here. It says scanning. Let's get this button back on here. And looks like I am connected. So this light now has effectively turned green. So it looks like I am good to go. Now inside the screen here, start introduction course. Now I'm probably not gonna get into too much of this right now because I do want to really go deep into some of this stuff. Now I'm gonna start with some simple basics, but if it says start the introduction course, why not? So step one, do five shots, dry practice in open training which for me at this point, I really do want to leverage some sort of a bore laser, kind of enhance my overall experience. So that's going to be part of my dry fire training. So getting the bore laser inside, that is definitely going to be part of what I do here. And that should be pretty straightforward. But at this point, that really does take me to video number two. So right here, Pretty straightforward, not a ton to it. Setup was easy right out of the box. The app, no problem. And so with that, that's the end of episode one. Again, this is gonna be a full comprehensive look at this Mantis X10 Elite training diagnostic tool as I get into this. So the next time we're gonna continue on, gonna do a little bit of dry fire practice and start to actually look at the different regiments, the different training tools, the different diagnostics, and we'll see what we get out of this device. So again, to the people at Mantis, 
Thank you very much for providing this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless channel, which is more of my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, and backpacking experiences, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, backpacks, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.